Well, tonight, NBC 15 News is investigating your kids' safety. Guns have been found in schools across the state of Alabama, and there were even threats against schools in our area just last week. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski joins us now live in Mobile. Laura, the state superintendent is very concerned. Greg and Kim, he is very concerned, along with local law enforcement officials who recently had to address, address juvenile-involved gun violence happening right here in Mobile. Over this past week, Alabama law enforcement seized six guns from Alabama schools in Dallas County, Pike County, and Montgomery County. We're very concerned about it. Here in Mobile County, threats were made against two schools last week, and while the teen didn't get a hold of a gun, Mobile County Sheriff's Office Captain Paul Birch says this tends to happen after major school shootings in other areas. When there are school shootings, you know, in different parts of the country, we see this pretty frequently, you know, and like copycat language and, and, and such. And I'm sure there will probably be more, you know, in, in the surrounding areas. So. State Superintendent Dr. Eric Mackey is calling on Alabama parents to make some changes. You know, parents have got to take responsibility for their children. Uh, parents have got to make sure they know where their children are, what their children are doing, what their children are in possession of. The Mobile Police Department says in 2021, quote, we responded to four instances at Mobile schools where a juvenile was in possession of a gun leading to their arrest. Over the last several weeks, Mobile Police sounding the same alarm as Superintendent Mackey, not because the violence is happening at school, but because it's happening in the community. Making sure that you know where your weapons are, securing your weapons, making sure that you know where your children are, making sure that you know who they're with and what they're doing at all hours of the night if they should be out. And more importantly, having those candid conversations with these teens and preteens that they understand the consequences. And those consequences can affect the rest of the offender's life no matter how old they are. We take it seriously and, and the way that we show that we take it seriously is hold them accountable bring charges against them when we can, and we ask for the strictest charges that we possibly can when we get those situations to occur. Mackey's last message to parents is... Be listening to what your children are saying, to, to anything that might be going on on Facebook or something that might be a perceived threat, and then report those to the school and to the police. Mobile County Public Schools says they've seen an increase in students dealing with mental health issues, depression, and even thoughts of self-harm. Recent funding has allowed them to get 13 more social workers for the entire district, but they need everyone to get involved. If you see something, say something. Reporting live in Mobile, Laura Barczewski, NBC 15 News.